if you're running Manjaro or another arch based system and you get an air that looks like this when using VMware, we're going to talk about how to fix that right after this. And hey, welcome back. So I'm running the latest version of Manjaro and I just want to show you real quick how I installed uh, VMware Workstation. So I went to the add remove uh, software application and then in the right hand corner you click the three dots and click preferences, type in your password. You want to go to third party and we need to make sure that we have AUR support enabled which is our Arch Linux user repository. While you're in here, you can go ahead and enable flat packs and snap packages as well. Um, it's not required though for the purposes of this video. So once we have that done, now we can close this out and we can search for a VMware workstation. And we'll see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the one from AUR that's version 16. That looks like the newest version. So we'll go ahead and build that and install it real quick. And now that that's done installing, let's go ahead and open up a VMware Workstation 16. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So typically, uh, whether you install this through terminal or if you install this through the add remove software package like we did here in the video, when you open up VMware Workstation or VMware Player and you load your virtual machine, you're gonna be greeted with this error and when you look up that error, it's gonna tell you you need to do all these signing of kernel files and, and whatnot. And so we're gonna walk through that real quick. So I'm gonna load this up and then I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So we click play and there's the error right there. You're gonna get that VMMON is not loaded in the kernel module. And if you click okay, then you're gonna get a couple of other errors. And you'll see here and then there's one more. And so it's actually a lot less complicated to fix this than what it seems like when you try and look the problem up on the internet or, or Google it. So all we need to do is open up terminal and there's one line of code that we need to type. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw that down here on the bottom of the screen for you guys while I get this entered in to terminal. So what we're gonna type is sudo space mod probe space hyphen a space vmw underscore vmci space vmmon and then hit enter or return you're going to need to type in your password and that's it you shouldn't get any other things and so now that we've done that let's reopen vmware workstation and then we're gonna go ahead and hit play real quick. And we'll see that now I'm gonna get a new thing. So I keep my virtual station on a different drive. And anytime I load a new distro, I get this message. But if you're installing this from scratch, you won't see this message. So I'm just gonna click, I copied it. And then we'll see that it goes ahead and it's gonna run through loading windows just like normal. As you can see, everything loaded up fine. Um, all we needed was that one line of code to fix this. So now we're just gonna switch back over and I wanna show you guys, for those who use VMware Player rather than VMware Workstation, uh, this same fix action will also fix VMware Player. So I've already loaded in uh, my virtual drive. We're gonna go ahead and click power on. And what we should see is everything power up and boot just like normal, just like we saw in VMware Workstation 16. 
as you can see this one loaded up too guys so that about does it for me uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit me up in the comments for any questions peace